Hi guys, no fears Exodus here and in today's short tutorial I'm going to show you the best realms in the World of Warcraft game. I'll show you where is the most horde, where is the most alliance, which are the best roleplay servers, which are the best PvP servers. And we're gonna take a look at the WoW Retail and the WoW Classic, so let's jump right into it. So as you can see, uh, when you uh, open the game, you can see your, the realm selection. Um, there, there is a plenty of realms. Uh, it starts from the new player, goes to low, medium, high, and full. Uh, uh, you can scroll uh, the fullness of the realms by clicking. Uh, so as you can see, it goes from the lowest to uh, the, the highest number of uh, players. Uh, and what about uh, those type? Uh, we, we go with the roleplay. Uh, that means that you're actually role-playing your uh, your ch uh, champion or character uh, when you pick the I don't know blood elf. You're supposed to do some orgies inside some huge trees in a in a in a forest. I don't know what else. And and if you're orc, uh, you need to be aggressive and stuff like that. So you really get into the play style of your character because you need to feel and you need to speak like the like the race you're playing. So. It's pretty cool, but uh, we'll go with normal because in uh, World of Warcraft retail there's only a normal, which is a PVE, so you can't uh, fight against the uh, alliance if you're a horde player. But still, you can uh, you can switch on the PVP mode. But a lot of people never do that nowadays because uh, the servers are just uh, are just uh, full of all alliance or full of uh, hordes, so you, you you more likely need to choose which which side you want to play on. So, uh, and that gets me to the first thing, and that's um, Draenor realm and Silver Moon. I picked those two realms because Draenor is the most populated, one of the best realms out there. And there's only a horde players. There's like 3,000 Silver Moon players, but there's like 45,000 horde players. So that's best for the horde players. And there's a Silver Moon, which is of course for uh, Alliance. Uh, those are the two best servers you can possibly pick. Uh, the realms like Ragnaros the, uh, or Ravencrest or Terran Mail or Twisting Nether. Those are uh, pretty old and the good uh, realms too. But uh, they're slowly dying, and the uh, Draenor and Silver Moon are still active, and you can play a lot of uh, with a lot of players, and you can make a guild. So that's the best option, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I I think you saw the Trailian uh, server, but that's that's the reason why I picked the new players. Is when you when you look at the population, it says new players realms will give you the best play experience. Uh, and the full rounds are the most crowded and you will often experience a wait time to play. So I was kind of scared of that because uh, when I first uh, came to the game I thought that the full mean like uh, there will be a lot of players against me and I won't be able to farm at all but uh, I didn't know it's just only the PvE now so uh, please don't pick the new players. I don't know why Blizzard recommend this but always go with high or full because uh, when you play new players or medium or low, there won't be s any anyone you can met and possibly be a friend with. So keep that on in your mind. Okay, uh, so I started the uh, World of Warcraft Classic, and as you can see, there's a slight difference because there's a roleplay PvP. There's a roleplay which is uh, normal, and then it's a PvP and uh, or some normal normal realms, but uh, no n no one like like those. So. <laughs> You don't need to worry about them, but uh, as you can see uh, uh, in the World of Warcraft Classic, there is a player versus player mode, which was the the first release with the game, and it gives so much um, better RPG uh, experience and feeling because you you feel threatened all the time because anyone can jump on you and possibly kill you. So that's the thing with the PvP, uh, and I chose this server, Ashbringer. Because uh, when I looked at the statistics and the population and the Horde Alliance, uh, I saw it's almost equal, like 50 to 50, I think it's like uh, 49 to 51 for the Horde. But I think it doesn't matter at all, because uh, on the World of Warcraft Classic there are uh, the huge war, 
going on between Horde and Alliance, and you can uh, join them to fight and help your uh, help your Alliance or Horde. Uh, and the reason I chose the Edgebringer is uh, the population is high, so uh, the the war between the aliens is and the Horde is quite often, so you can join them. And I think overall the Edgebringer is one of the best best realms in the World of Warcraft Classic because. You can also see. Uh, first of all, I joined the fire mall, but there is a long time you, you stay in queue because uh, there is a lot of player in line. So you need to wait like almost an hour and a half, which is ridiculous in my opinion. So Ashbringer is just auto connection. Click OK, and that's it. Um, I'm invisible because I died, <laughs> and out of rage quit. I just quit the game. So that's it. But uh, those are the best possible realms you can pick, so you don't need to uh, you need to search anywhere on the internet right now because I just told you which are the best for Alliance, Horde, and uh, for the World of Warcraft Classic, the Ashbringer is just one of the best realms you can possibly choose. So as you can see, uh, Wolf, uh, wolfprogress.com, uh, there are the uh, there are the realms, and you can uh, choose them by the score. Which I think the first one is Twisting Nether, yeah, Twisting Nether. Then Population, Horde and Alliance. And of course I choose them because I clicked the, where is the most Horde. And Draenor is with the most of the Horde. Alliance is the Silver Moon. And then uh, by Population you can see the Draenor and Silver Moon is one of the most populated servers in the game. So uh, like you, you can look at the Twisting Nether which is the first one. But if you look at the Population it's just the fifth one. So. As you can see, it only 30,000 players, and the Draenor and Silver Moon has around 45. So, I guess that's better realm than than the Twisting Nether. I think the score goes with uh, how good the people are or how much raids are going on. But I'm not, but I'm not actually sure which, uh, what the score means. But I think it's uh, how how the server is alive and what's going on there. So I think that's that's the thing with the score. Yeah, and as you can see, it's a PVE, and there's some PVP servers, but I don't know why it's PVP, but I guess you're supposed to turn your PVP on, just to just for a better experience. So, uh, that's it from this video, I hope you learned something new, and see you in the next video with the World of Warcraft add-ons. See you, bye.